today's lecture series is life is easy, we just think it's hard. Hello beautiful soul, thank you for joining me today. And I would like to start off with asking you a simple question. Why are you here today? What brought you to this moment? Perhaps it's not being too bold to suggest that you're seeking guidance, hoping to hear something that resonates with you, something that could offer insight and relevance as we navigate through the challenges of our modern world. A world that at times can feel overwhelming, complex, and difficult. In the book, Life is Easy, We Just Think It's Hard, the central idea of the book is life is inherently easy, but our thoughts and perceptions can make it seem hard. We're going to discuss the mindset and how it shapes our life's experiences and the challenges. We're going to highlight the importance of understanding this concept as a foundational for personal growth. Have you ever felt that life is harder than it should be? What if the struggle isn't life itself, but how we perceive it? I want you to consider your thoughts and how they might be influencing your experience. I want to share with you the Discover Method, focusing on discovering one's true identity. But right now we're gonna break down each component. D, define your vision. I want you to begin your journey by painting a clear and vivid picture of your dream. What does success look like for you? Visualize the life you desire down to the smallest detail. Moving on to I, investigate your why. Now explore the depths of your heart and soul to unveil the compelling force behind your desire. What propels you to chase after this dream? What feeling ignites within you when you envision its accomplishment? S, now you're gonna search for significance. Why is this important to you? Delve into the heart of your aspiration, fueled by the core values and beliefs that ignite your passion. What makes this dream significant for you? How does it harmonize with your innermost desires and convictions? C. Connect with your essence. Embrace your authenticity and align your dreams with your true self, your true identity. Strip away the layers of expectations and societal conditioning to reveal the essence of who you truly are, who you were created to be. O, oh, own your purpose. Embrace the uniqueness of your journey and recognize the importance of your dreams in fulfilling your life's purpose. Trust in the divine unfolding of your path. You were created on purpose for a purpose. V, visualize success. Envisioning yourself standing at the pinnacle of your achievement, bathed in warm glow of success. How does it feel? Immerse yourself fully in this experience. Let it fuel your journey forward. E. Empower your mantra. Create your statement of truth. Craft a powerful mantra that encapsulates the essence of your journey. Let it be a beacon of light guiding you through the darkest nights and inspiring you to persevere even in adversity. R. Refine your path. As you progress towards your dreams, 
remain open to refinement and adaptation. Reflect on your experiences, learn from your challenges, and adjust your course as needed. Remember, the path to success is not always linear. Keep going. This is your life. Discover exactly what you want and how you want to feel and what action steps you're going to take to make it happen. Discovering your true identity takes time when you ask yourself the right questions and allow the divine to connect with you so that you understand who you are, why you were created, why you are here. By understanding and defining your vision and connecting with your essence, and refining your path when you need to makes life feel easier because it's now more aligned with your true identity, your true self. Now we're going to move on to the next section, the dream formula. The dream formula is the second chapter in the book, Life is Easy, We Just Think It's Hard. And it's the second workbook in the series focusing on turning the dreams into reality. So let's go over the key elements in the dream formula. D, define your goal. Start by getting crystal clear on what you truly want to achieve. Now this isn't, you know, some wishful thinking. It's about specifically finding what your aspirations are and setting a focused intention on them. R, reveal your emotions. Now connect with the emotions behind your goals. Understanding how you want to feel when you achieve your dream amplifies your motivation and keeps you passionate throughout your journey. The E in the dream formula is for examining your why. This deep dive into the core reasons behind your goal. Why is this dream important to you? What values does it reflect? Understanding your why provides the fuel needed to overcome the obstacles that will come your way. A is affirm your path. This is where you craft your powerful mantra. This mission statement, this statement of truth is encapsulating your journey. Exactly what you want. This affirmation will guide you through the moments of doubt, reminding you of your purpose and the strength within you. M. Now it's time to make it happen. It's time to take action. Break down your goals into manageable steps. Commit to daily progress and celebrate every milestone along the way. It's the action that's going to lead you to exactly what you say you want. Now the last subject that we're going to talk about today is emotional mastery. This emotional mastery is all about you being in control of your emotional well-being. You get to choose how you feel in this moment. It is not up to someone else to decide for you. Now you can give them that power or you can choose to have mastery over your emotions. I want you to think about this. When something happens and it creates an emotional response, is it coming from an outside source or a thought that popped in your head? It doesn't matter which one it comes from, but just recognize that the first initial response is the only one that you need to deal with. That first initial response has the chemical release 
move through the body for about 90 seconds. Allow it to happen. Allow yourself to feel whatever feeling you are feeling in that moment. Identify it. Give it a name, even color. Where is it at in your body? Recognize that this is a true reaction happening in your body, but you only need to experience it for this 90 seconds, and it will pass. Once the 90 seconds is over, release it, let it go. You don't need it any longer. Stomp your feet, shake your hands, whatever you need to do to release it, but let it go. The only reason that you can keep that emotional response happening in your body, keeping you in that mindset that you're in, is by the thoughts that you are thinking. It is your thoughts that's going to continue keeping that emotion moving through your body. Now it is your choice. You get to choose your emotional state of being. How do you want to feel? Not based upon what's going on, but what is your baseline emotional state of being that you choose to be in every day? It is your choice. When you wake up in the morning and you ask yourself, how do I want to feel today? It is completely in your power. Do you want to feel calm, content, relaxed, at peace? Or do you rather enjoy feeling angry, upset, frustrated, full of anxiety? How do you want to feel? Focus on your baseline emotion right now. This is yours. This is in your control. How do you want to feel? Once you have come to the understanding of what it is that you want and how you choose to feel today, choose to not allow a task, a job, or a drive to take away how you choose to feel. Those are just things to do. They do not need any emotional attachment to them. Now, sometimes we allow other people's opinions about us, other people's problems, other people's words to affect us emotionally. When that happens, we get to choose to let it in. If the chemical response happens and we feel that emotion moving through us, remember we only have to deal with it for 90 seconds. After that, we let it go. If they continue with the way that they are talking or saying things that do not align with how you choose to feel, you get to choose whether or not the conversation continues. If it's a situation where you cannot leave, then I like to put on what I call peanut parent ears. Someone is speaking to me in words that I choose to not let in. All I hear from them is wah, 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 wah. Give it a try. The next time someone comes at you and is reacting in a way that you in the past would have been affected emotionally. Just look at them and put on your peanut ears. It's going to become comical. You're just going to look at them and go, I can't hear you. You can keep talking, but you're not letting it in because that's your choice. Because you are choosing the emotional state you want to be in. Now, if you are choosing the emotional state of upset and, and anger, go for it. Let their words in. Let them affect you emotionally all the way as much as you want. It's your choice. But if that is not serving you, 
if that is not what you truly want because you truly want peace in your life, you don't want to be stressed out. You don't want to feel this anxiety moving through your body. So remember, do not allow a job, a task, a drive, other people's opinions about you to change your emotional mind, your emotional state of being longer than 90 seconds. It's in your power. You have control over this. This is your thoughts, your mind, your emotions, and you have the power to become an emotional mastery. When you understand this power, and when you understand that you can choose to not give it away, to not plug in to what is energizing those emotions that you choose to not have, like anger, upset, frustration. But when you also remember that when something is going on in your life that seems overwhelming, I only have to deal with it for 90 seconds and then I can release it and go back to my chosen emotional state of being. It helps you see that you can get through this moment. It might be tough. It might suck. It might be one that you don't want to go through, but you only have to go through it for that 90 seconds. After that, ask yourself, what is going on right now? now because it's the right now that's the emotional state of being that we choose to be in if we are focusing our emotional state of being on something that happened in the past we are not in the moment the present moment is the only emotional state of being that you need to be in what is happening right now your choice and once you understand that you are in control you get to live a life you love and it's easy it's simple because you are now in control and everything is not just happening to you it is now happening for you when you recognize the things that are going on around you as things that can help serve you. You can start to feel the gratitude for them. Even the stuff that sucks. Because you realize that this is part of life. And because you have begun this process of understanding exactly what you want from your life and understanding what emotional state of being you want to be in, When you recognize that you are in control of your life, life is easy. When you recognize that you are in control of your emotional state of being, life is easy. When you recognize that you are in control of your purpose in life, because you are now focused on what you want, how you want it, and what steps you're going to take to get it, life is easy. You understand that problems will be there. Things will happen that are out of your control, but you are in control of how you want to feel. You are in control and you love it because life is easy. Once you understand that you no longer have to think thoughts that keep you depressed and sad, looking at life as something that is unmanageable, you realize that life is easy because you have changed the thoughts. The thoughts that used to tell you that this is not the place for you. 
the thoughts that used to tell you that you don't belong. The thoughts that used to tell you that you didn't matter. They've all been changed now. You've released them. You've let them go. It's just like a balloon that has helium in it. If you unleash it, if you let it go from your hand, you can't jump in the air and get it. When you release what is no longer serving you, you let it go. You visualize it like the balloon that's released floating through the air. Or you visualize it like the water from the last shower you took that went down the drain. You can't grab that balloon. You can't gather that water back up. It's gone. And that's how your old beliefs are. They're now gone. And from now on, you are going to remember that you have the power to choose exactly what it is that you want in life that's going to move you forward to what your goals and dreams are. When you understand that you have the power to live a life that you love, you get to choose the emotional state of being that you are in. You get to choose whether or not you allow someone or something to affect you longer than 90 seconds. You are now in control of your life. Life is no longer controlling you and this is a magical moment that you realize that you were created on purpose for a purpose. Now go live your life to the fullest, making all of your dreams come true because life is easy.